Airframe Hydraulic and Pneumatic System Oral Questions What materials form the bases of the three different types of hydraulic fluids? Vegetable, mineral, and phosphate esters. What colors denote mineral-based and phosphate ester-based hydraulic fluids? Mineral-based fluids are red, and phosphate ester fluids are light purple. What are the results of exposing lacquers, oil-based paints, plastics, resins, and vinyl compounds to phosphate ester-based fluids? The materials will be damaged and or softened, and paint will peel. Name several sources used to develop hydraulic pressure. Hand pumps, engine driven pumps, and electrically driven pumps. What would cause the bypass valve in a hydraulic filter to open and allow unfiltered fluid to circulate through the system? A clogged filter element. Describe several methods of pressurizing a hydraulic reservoir. Engine bleed air, system pressure acting on a piston inside the reservoir, or using a variable displacement hydraulic pump. What feature prevents engine damage if an engine-driven pump seizes or is overloaded? A shear section in the pump drive shaft will break to disconnect the pump from the engine preventing damage. Describe the purpose of a pressure relief valve. Pressure relief valves limit the maximum pressure produced by the pump, preventing failure of system components. Engine-driven pumps deliver the output fluid flow in what two forms? Constant or variable volume. Describe the operation of a gear type pump. Two meshed gear driven by a power source rotating in a housing. The inlet fluid is carried around the outside of the gears and delivered to the outlet side as the gears rotate. Describe the purpose of a pressure regulator. Pressure regulators manage the output of the pump to maintain system pressure. They allow the pump to be unloaded so that it turns without substantial resistance. What is the device that is used in some systems to supplement the pump output? during periods of high demand. An accumulator. What are the three different types of accumulators? Piston, diaphragm, and bladder types. What safety precaution must be taken prior to disassembling an accumulator? Make sure to release all of the air or the preload.
When a hydraulic unit is replaced, what precautions should be taken to avoid contamination of the system? All lines should be capped or plugged right after they are disconnected. What types of components or systems are pneumatically operated in some aircraft? Landing gear, brakes, flaps, and other mechanical actuators. Name several sources of pneumatic power. Storage bottles, engine bleed air, engine driven compressors, and vane type pumps. What happens to excess pressure in a pneumatic system? It gets vented overboard by a relief valve. What is the function of a restrictor in a pneumatic system? It controls the rate of flow of the air. What are the reasons for periodically purging a pneumatic system? To remove moisture and contaminants that might have built up.